Hey, what's up, guys? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best, though, to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Lately, a lot of people have requested me a video talking about the Stun Grenade. Just then, I've realized that I barely had used it, then spent almost a month using it uh, to get the pros and cons. Okay, let's talk about it. If your team already have enough breed charts, uh, why not try the Stun Grenade? It can be very useful, hey, but, but, so, if well so, used. When it hits successfully, it blinds 100% for 3 seconds. It's great in enough time to take the enemy out. But the problem is, it's not too simple to throw with 100% with of success. This graphic shows up how it works. If the enemy is looking towards this 10 grenade, he gets fully blind. If it's too far away though, it's reduced up to 50 to 10%. At peripheral view, despite of calls up to 70%, the enemy still can see you. Behind the field of view, nothing happens except by the sound. What is really bizarre, and I really disagree with this, if you see it coming and turn your backs, you're safety. This is bullshit because in real life, a stun grenade, even at your backs, should disorientate you. To use it properly, you gotta blind 100% the opponent. From 70% or less, he can here. see you. Many times I threw this sun grenade and ran towards the enemy and he was not blind and killed me. So you cannot guess if the enemy is blind or not. You gotta make sure he is indeed. To do it, you need to know exactly where the enemy is. Use your drone, locate him, pay attention where he's looking at and throw the stun grenade to his field of view. If you need, throw a second one and go towards him. It's well likely he will be laid down, then you can take him out easily. Or, if you realize he's running away against walls and doors, this is the perfect time to kill him. Basically, you need to realize where the enemy is looking at and throw the stun grenade in front of him. Wait one second and go for the kill. It's also very important to use it against just one opponent. If you realize there are many targets around, your gap can be too short to take him out. Also avoid to throw it in big rooms, because when you have furniture or objects on the way, it blocks the stun grenade effect. So if the enemy is hidden close to a surface, he will not get blind. Then you can get wrecked. The best way to use it is in 1v1 situation, when the enemy is locked in small rooms and when you know his field of view. And a very important tip, avoid it. Do never throw it in a straight line, because you can blind yourself. Always throw it in a diagonal angles, it's safer. By the way, you gotta be aware about your teammates, if they are close by, avoid it or tell them you're about to use this 10 grenade. The best situation to use it is when you need to enter a room and there's an enemy marking a pixel. You know he's aiming at you just waiting for your entrance. This is the best situation to surprise him and get a free kill. However, I still think the stun grenade should get a buff, especially by enhance its radius. If you are somewhere near the epicenter, you should get totally blind. Well, I hope this video has helped you somehow, if it did, please hit the like button. That's it for today's video guys, have a good one, and bye amigos!